Hi, my name is Courtney. I'm from the Forest Lab here on the third floor, and I'm here to talk to you a little bit about monarch butterflies. Now, most of you know what a monarch butterfly is. You can tell them from their orange background with their black stripes through them. But what you don't know about monarch butterflies is that they're a species at risk. So to understand why monarchs are a species at risk, we have to understand a little bit about their life history. First of all, monarchs begin their life as a teeny tiny little egg, which their mother lays on the underside of a milkweed plant. That egg hatches into a tiny little caterpillar which eats and eats and eats and grows and grows and grows. It grows up to 2700 times its body weight. That would be like us growing or starting our life as a six pound baby and growing into an eight ton school bus. So this little caterpillar grows up and becomes this big caterpillar. Every time it grows, it sheds its skin to accommodate its new body. It does the shedding of the skin five times, and each one of those we call an instar. After its fifth instar, the caterpillar crawls up to the top of a tree and hangs itself upside down in a J formation. It pulls its chrysalis from its head to its feet and it turns into this beautiful green chrysalis with the gold flecks all around the surface. When the, cat, when the butterfly is ready to emerge from the chrysalis, the chrysalis turns into a see-through color to reveal the black and orange butterfly underneath. After the butterfly emerges from the chrysalis, it takes about five minutes to pump the fluid through its wings. Then, once the wings are dry, it can fly away and it lives for two to four weeks after that. So now we understand a little bit about monarch life history, we can understand why they're a species at risk. So because of habitat loss, uh, monarchs are in decline all over the world. Things like milkweed destruction in North America and illegal logging of forests in Mexico means that the habitat for monarchs is degrading. Here at Science North, we've created our beautiful northern garden full of native wildflowers to help the monarch population. It's full of these native flowers so that the adult monarchs can drink the nectar and they can lay their eggs on the milkweed that's planted just behind me here. Our northern garden is also a registered monarch way station, which means that we can tag monarch butterflies here. We take their caterpillars and bring them inside where we rear them from their, from their caterpillar stage all the way to their chrysalis and adult stage. And when they turn into an adult butterfly, we take a little tiny sticker and put it on the back of their wings. This sticker has a unique ID, which we then enter into the Monarch Watch database. This helps scientists be able to track where the monarchs are heading, whether they're heading down to Mexico, how far they go, how long they live and when they arrive at their final destination. For more information you can come up to the third floor and find me or any of my colleagues and we'd be more than happy to answer your questions. Until next time! This plant is the monarch, no it's not the monarch plant, it's not the monarch plant, it's not. So the adult, it's not an adult caterpillar. See the black caterpillar not a caterpillar, it's a butterfly. <laughs> Somebody watching me? Okay, good. Make sure. Also, habitat, their habitat, their habitat, their habitat. I'm crying. <laughs> there are tears in my eyes. <laughs> I just need to take a break. <laughs>